Gay men are so miserable. Mm -mm. It is such a lonely life. Oh my god. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really happy to see you. Who's this broad? This is my mom, Ruth. Oh, well, hello. Mrs. Montenegro, it's so nice to see you. I'm so sorry, but you know, I have post-traumatic stress disorder because of my ex-husband, the psychopath. Uh, I need something for my hand. Oh, got milk. <laughs> Um, the trash is over there. It's a cat toy. I don't have any cats. <sighs> Did Barry ever tell you how he never threw anything away? When he was a baby, he would throw things at the garbage can, miss it, and never pick it up. Um, I need some gauze or, or something. <laughs> Did he ever tell you how he ruined his seventh birthday party? I merely asked him, whip some cream. Well, he used a warm metal bowl. Well, of course it didn't whip. I mean, he ruined everything. So naturally, I had to, I had to go into the garden and cry for an hour. Why did everyone feel sorry for me? <laughs> and hate him. Ooh, looky, 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 Barry is so mad. <laughs> he is just jealous because you and I are friends. <laughs> Shouldn't we call the police? Oh, isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? Oh, oh, I feel like I've just known you for years and years. Him. He's not like those other awful friends of yours. Oh, crap. Q, get away from her. You, you just can't stand it, can you, when somebody wants to be my friend and not yours. Q, get away from her. He is lying. Okay, you know what? You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that maybe we could go nursery shopping, and then after that, we could go Oh, to God, I, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry that you couldn't turn him against me like you, you've done everything. Everyone else? Oh, shit, it's her. She killed everybody. Well, you know, I mean, people are such assholes. <laughs> you know, he just was, he was just a terrible child. <sighs> just a terrible child. Do you know that I was forced to give up my job when he was born? Did you know that? And work at home? Just imagine, just imagine how easy that was with all of Barry's friends coming over and playing. Oh, oh, and those, those nosy, self-righteous parents always asking questions. Are you okay? And why were you screaming in the middle of the night at Barry threatening to kill yourself? Well, he cried you know, and he'd wake up the entire neighborhood. So you know what I said to them? I said, look, I work at night. I sleep during the day. That is part of my circadian rhythm. I mean, really, when else did they expect me to interact with my son? Oh, let's make several pots of coffee and relax. <laughs> so then, after he forced me to have bitter feuds with everyone in the neighborhood and move him and all 20 of the cats somewhere where, oh no, they didn't have you banned? I hate that. And of course, he was too lazy to finish school. 
and his fat teachers were always sending home notes. Now why don't you make your child a lunch? Oh. Your child might benefit from counseling. We suspect abuse at home. So of course I had to take him out of school and pay for vocal lessons so he could get a job as a female phone sex operator. I mean, you know, I already had a full-time job, right? He is still the Ruth. same skinny, fat, injustice collector that he has always been. He will never be happy. Oh, and now he probably expects me to support him again or, or stand beside him when he's charged with murder. Barry, what? I, for one, am appalled at the way you've been treating this poor woman. I mean, it's obvious to me that it's all his fault. I mean, for everything that ever happened to you, I hate him. You know what you should do? You should take that razor and slash him up, and then we'll call Child Protective Services and tell him he fell off the swing set. <laughs> As usual, I have the last word. You really shouldn't try to assert yourself, Barry. It's a useless. I own you. I wouldn't count on that. Are you going to defeat me with an unkind word? No. A George Foreman grill. <laughs>